Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about the graph data structure in C++. So unlike trees, where you have a node that's connected to two children, a graph can have many children, or in this case, we call it vertices. So you can have one node connected to many other nodes, and then we have edges, which is how the two vertices are connected. So the graph will help us describe that, and it's good for searching algorithms because it's uh, the way it's connected, you could quickly search through it, or you could see, it's a good way to see how things are connected, or some in some math problems, you could figure out certain weights between how the two things are connected. So there's a lot of applications for graph data structures. And to implement it, there's different ways. Here, we're going to use a map data structure to implement it, but there's other things that you can do. So we'll go ahead and jump into example. We have include aisle stream and include our map. And we're going to use vectors. Thus, we include vector, if I can spell vector. And then we have include algorithm, something that we'll need later. OK, so we have our graph data structure here. And inside, we're going to have public, private. Inside, we're going to have our constructor that does absolutely nothing. And we have our graph here. So first off is we want to add a vertex, right? So we want to pass in a vertex, which will be an integer to the vertex. And inside is going to simply be, we want to first add a graph here. So our graph is going to be a map data structure, so std map. And we have an int std uh, vector of integers. So that completes our map, and we'll call this map uh, mgraph because that's what we're using to hold it. Okay, so to add a vertex, we will access mgraph, pass in the key value, which is our vertex, and then because it maps it to vec uh, vector, it's going to initially be empty until we find out how they're connected. So to show how they're connected, that's what the add edge function does. Pass in the input, the two vertices to show how they're connected. And you can say m, m graph v1 dot pushback, and then pass in the other one. And then here you just do the same thing, but in the opposite order. So v2, v1. So that's how you add an edge. And let's say we wanted to print it, we could say void print graph. And then inside, we want to loop through it. So for const auto at element, loop through our map. So we learn, we just learned map, so we know how to uh, loop through it. So we have element dot first, which is our key, separated by a colon, and then want to loop through um, our cur edge, which is our vector of edges. So we std cl cur edge separated by a space, and then std cl a new line character. So we could create an example in our main function. Return zero here and create a graph called my graph. Then I can say my graph dot uh, let's add our vertex first, add one, create three of them. So we could say one, two, three. And then we want to add um, our edges. So add edge and we'll say how they're connected. So let's say one is connected to two. 2 is connected to 3, and 1 is connected to 3. OK, so we could print out my graph.print graph. This should print out our graph. And if I run this code, we will see that it prints out our graph and how they're connected. So like vertex 1 is connected to 2 and 3, 2 is connected to 1 and 3, and 3 is connected to 2 and 1. So let's say we want to remove something, we would need to support that with a remove vertex. 
uh, function, which we will pass in the vertex we want to remove. But before we remove it, we should do a quick check to see if that vertex even exists. And we do so by checking if it equals to my graph.end. If it points to the end, then it means nothing was found. So we do stdc out um, invalid vertex, and then we return. Otherwise, if it exists, we want to erase it. So we can say my graph dot erase, pass in vertex. Then we loop through it. So for auto uh, element, m graph. So for each one, we want to, now that we delete it from the map, we need to remove the vertex associated with, or the vector associated with each vertex that describe the edges. So we're going to say auto at value equals element dot second. Then we can say value dot erase. So this is from the algorithm. std remove, pass in value dot begin, and then value dot end, and then the value we're trying to erase, and then value dot end. So this magic line of code will allow us to erase an item inside our uh, vertex vector. OK, so let's say my graph dot remove vertex and pass in three. If I print this out, this should give me my updated graph that no longer has three. So now I get one is connected to two, and two is connected to one. So that's exactly what we wanted. And now let's add some supporting functions. We want to see uh, what our vertices are. We could have a std vector of int, and we can say get vertices. So inside here, we're going to say stdcl. So in this case, I'm just creating a get vertices function that will print out as well as uh, extract the vertices for me. I'm kind of combining the two. So I'm going to say vertices colon and then std. I'm going to create a vector to hold everything that I find. And I can say for const auto at element and then M graph here, and I can say vertices dot push back uh, element dot first, and then std c out element dot first, and then at the end we want to create a new line character and return the vertices. Okay, so this is a simple get vertices. And while we're at it, let's add a get edges function to say std vector of int. That's our return type. Get edges, pass in the vertex of interest. And inside, we're going to do a quick check. So if our graph.find vertex equals uh, end which means that it's not there. I'm going to say std c out invalid vertex and then return uh, empty. OK, so that looks good. And then after that, what we want to do is print out the edges. So we can say std c out edges Okay, and then loop through it. Const auto m graph vertex. So now we're getting the vector. You can say std c out i, and then separated by space. And then at the very end, we want a new line. Then we could return what we are using. So m graph. Uh, vertex. So now if I come here and do some printing, you can say my graph dot, I want to um, get the vertices, and then my graph dot get edges, maybe the edge for the first one. So if I run this code, we will see vertices is one and two, and then the edge for vertex one is two.
Okay, so that's how you implement a graph data structure in C++. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.